So the first aspect of Criterion A Focus and Method, to me, the first big aspect would be choosing a really good question, choosing an appropriate question, and communicating that clearly. Number one, make sure you stay in history. I know that sounds silly, but it's so easy to wander off when you're doing a historical essay and start talking about economics or even politics. Well, you have to know that those are different subject guides for the extended essay. So IB really has very specific guidelines if you're going to do history. So choose an appropriate question means stay in history. Don't wander off in economics or politics. Um, a second part of an appropriate question is it has to be 10 years back and before that. My advice to you for a really good question would be make sure it's an in-depth question, something you really can dive into the sources, analyze, compare and contrast, and weigh evidence. you got to weigh and evaluate your sources to come up with your answer. Be careful of doing a very simple yes or no question. Those are too easy, and really it's not going to make for a good historical extended essay in history. Uh, the other thing you want to be careful of doing is doing a question where there's already a very large agreed upon answer. If historians already have agreed on an answer to something, that's also not going to be a good question. It's not going to lead you to be able to do in-depth analysis. So be careful of that. Uh, communicate your question clearly. Make sure it's not too wordy. A lot of students have a big, long question, and the sentence in there is just too much. Work and rework and work that question again until you get it very clear, concise, and precise. Um, that's kind of hard to do, but that's what I would advise you to do. The second aspect of Criterion A, focus and method, would be what we call methodology of the research. Now, this can get a little tricky. I think it's hard for high school students to understand what methodology means. So the easiest way I could boil this down for you would be to say, for that part, what you need to do is talk about your sources, identify what sources you're using. Are you using primary sources, secondary sources? Are you going to use government records, official documents, diaries and journals, interviews, photographs? There's so many sources. Talk about your sources. Where did you find them? How are those going to help you answer this question? And then the methodology part is to say specifically, how will you go about answering this question? How will you use those sources? And step by step, what are you going to look at? Are you going to look at the social cultural background to a country to kind of determine your answer? Are you going to look at um, comparing a person's diaries and like personal accounts with how that backs up with statistics and government records. Those are the kinds of things. I'm just throwing those out as examples. But those are the kinds of things that you would do to explain your methodology of the research. So those are the two things that you really want to look at with um, Criterion A, focus and method. Um, now, let's just kind of look at what advice would be for supervisors. Your supervisor helping a student in extended essay, I would say two things are really important beside what I just talked about. One, give them the rubric. Day one, right up front, they need the rubric. Students should be looking at that rubric and the descriptions in there. How am I going to get a good grade on this? What exactly is the IB looking for? Uh, the descriptions in the rubric are rich, and I think they help you sort of figure out uh, or help a student figure out what they need to do. So beyond the rubric, another big piece of advice I have for supervisors is give your students the actual guide to the history essay. IB puts out a guide for each subject area, and a student really needs to look at the guide for history to find out what do I need to do, what kinds of sources should I be using, what is it that they're looking for. Remember, spend your time wisely choosing a good question. Work till that question is communicated clearly and precisely. Find a variety of sources to use. Don't forget to summarize what your sources are and how you're going to go about answering your question. That's your methodology. And last but not least, communicate that question clearly. Make sure it's not a basic question. Make sure it's not a yes or no. And most importantly, have fun writing your essay in history, because I think there's no more exciting uh, subject to write about for an extended essay for the IV than in history. So good luck to you.